Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about the managed solution in the Dynamics 365. In the previous video, we have discussed about the default solution and managed solutions and we have seen the demo of how to export the solution from uh, source instance and deploy into the target instance. And what are the limitations we have with the unmanaged solutions? We have discussed that in the previous video. Now in this video, we will talk about the managed solution and before I proceed for the demo, uh, we'll see some for few points we should keep in mind before we using the managed solutions as a uh, managed uh, solution deployment management as per, as per the project guidelines. Okay, so so managed solution is uh, uh, when we export the uh, component as a managed solution, then those uh, managed solutions or packages we can install on the top of the system solutions or if there is an already another managed solutions uh, keep on following we can install on the top of that so the managed solutions can be installed on the top of system solutions or the another managed solutions now the managed solution is like a container how it was the unmanaged solution so it will have the it is kind of con container it will have the uh, all those customizations what we have done we can include the another customizations into the, our solutions and it will be present in the managed solutions when we export it but those components which, which are included in the managed package it can be controlled we means it can be we can make those components to be locked and unlocked when it is imported to the target instance uh, wha what is the meaning of this to say is that uh, this uh, when the managed solution is installed to the target instance then those components included in that managed solutions can be can be customized or not we can control that in the managed solutions so which we can make which components of solutions can be modified in the target instance by using the managed property in the solutions i'll show you that okay and there's a risk involved in using the managed solutions and the risk is that when we delete the managed solutions, it will delete the component associated uh, from it from system. Like you in the in the managed solution, you have added some entity called X Y Z. So when you remove the solution, uh, managed solution, then the entity X Y Z will get removed from the system, dynamic system. So what will happen to the data then? The data involved with that entity will also get removed. So there's a law. Uh, there's a there is a risk of losing the data when we uh, uninstall the managed components. So there is another risk. I mean, they, they, this is not the high risk or uh, high impact risk we can say. But when we are using the managed solution management as your uh, you know deployment plan as your project guidelines, then uh, we have to think about the data management. So if somebody by mistake if it has been deleted from your target instance and it, if, is there some valuable data associated to those uh, components which are included in the managed solution then those data may get lost. So there is a small risk involved in that. Okay, So that is why the deleting the unmanaged solution is not preferable. So for that uh, there is alternative that's called the patch solutions we can use to update the existing components in the dynamics. So in the next video, we'll see the demo of the patch solutions in details. So let's proceed with this theory. Uh, we'll see the demo of how to, uh, how to import, export and import the managed solutions in the dynamics. So this is my target in, uh, source instance. Uh, we can call this as source or uh, uh, dev instance here. So I'm going to create the new solution here. And I'll select my publisher and version I'll start with zero. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the new entity instead of ex uh, adding the existing entity. So I'll add the new entity here. I'll name this entity say my CRM demo entity okay and I'll take this ownership as a user and team so just take the default default setting here okay let's create this oh sorry we have to give the plural names
so while creating this entity it will create the table in the back end uh, sql server database so for each entity is considered as a table in the dynamics so it will create the new table with the, with this schema name here in the back end sql server so this entity is created I'm going to export this solution as a managed solution so i'll close this and this you can see this entity is added here and out of the box some relationship with this existing entity it will be added here so let's ignore this and here the entire the new entity which i have added here i'm going to deploy this to my target instance here this is my target instance and this entity is not present here so i can go to the my uh, advanced find i can search for this entity here my crm demo entity so So you can see uh, this entity is not here so I don't have that entity available here in the list so for that uh, uh, once I'll ins install that then it will be present in my target instance so I'm going to export this solution as a managed solution now export but before exporting uh, I just came to know that uh, uh, this using the uh, feature the field can be locked unlocked in the target instance so we can use this uh, uh, manage property in the solution so here I'll cancel this here for this entity so when you select any components say like this field and on this field I, I can have the several uh, of several several fields here so uh, like you can see this field this is the primary key here we have the name field so this this name field uh, we can we can customize it like if you want to change this uh, you can say this is the simple text field and it is having maximum length here as 100 so if you want to change the properties of this later on in the target instance then we have we can select this component here and then here we have manage properties so particular components if you want to if you want to be changeable at the target instance then you have to use this feature called the manage property so when you click on this then you can see what what are the components you can change in the target instance so here it is enabled when it is enabled that means it can be customized into the target instance when you select false then these components you cannot modify into target instance so you have to select as per the uh, requirement like you want the end user i mean the target instance user to be modify your solution or not so decide as per your requirement and then you can use this manage properties uh, setting uh, for the components and you can enable that okay so now it is done so i have set the uh, i have enabled this entity uh, to be change the you can see inside that i have the components like can change the requirement level can modify the name and can change the additional properties to that okay so i have enabled the manage for through the management properties i have enabled that okay now uh, i'm going to export this so before that uh, i will publish my entity because i does uh, whenever we will do some changes to any entity we have to publish this okay so i have published now so i'm going to export this solution now export so this time i'll take the manage solution here so manage package type so you can see uh, once we use these options uh, uh, then the manage solutions cannot be directly modified or exported as a manage after it is installed okay so i'm going to export now it will take some time to export So component is exported. I'm going to deploy that uh, component here in my target instance. So this is my target instance. I'm going to import here. I'll go to the import. And you can see this is my exported component here. I will select this. So my solution is imported here. So so now I can uh, close my window. So my, you can see the solution is imported successfully. So close this, and here you can see this is the managed package and it is imported here. Now uh, I can go to the my advanced find and I can refresh here 
just to check the info in that particular custom entity which I have created it has been successfully created here in the target instance also okay Now you can see this is the entity uh, which is created uh, successfully in my target instance and here I don't have any record associated here right so I don't have that so now uh, I will create the one record of this just to show you this uh, uh, this one so there is a risk of involved in the data management like when we delete the managed solution then the data associated will that will get also removed right to show you that demo so I'm going to add the new record here. Okay, so here it is loaded. So I'm going to give some name like uh, my first record. Okay, save and close. Now you can see I have one record with that entity. It is associated. Okay, now to verify the another component here uh, to lock and unlock. So I'll go to the uh, my target instance here. I'll open my manage solutions and I will try to modify the components which I have added here. So go to the entity fields and since I have enabled the name field to get modified by this uh, system properties here, manage properties here. So I'll, I'll open this field and try to So you, can, you cannot modify the components from your managed solutions. However, when you open through the, uh, through the uh, default solutions, you, can, you will be able to modify. Okay, so I'll go to the default solution. So this is my entity field here and in this entity uh, for this field I will have this one so I'm going to open this and you can see I can change the properties of this one right so you can see uh, the properties which are editable is here this one which which we have enabled now so we can see these properties are customizable from this okay so save and close but all the properties which will be locked here you cannot modify for other fields like uh, if you have added some custom fields then you will not be able to change those fields from this so uh, this is how you can modify you can modify the components uh, of the uh, in particular particular components from the managed solutions using the managed properties in the system okay so now it is uh, clear to us and uh, for this record uh, this record will be deleted when we uninstall the manage solution right so i'll go to the solution now again here in the solution and i'm going to uninstall that so i'll select the solution and i'm going to remove this okay so you can see the warning here so you are deleting the manage solution the solution and uh, all of its component including data in the components will be deleted the action cannot be undone so solutions might take several minutes to uninstall you cannot cancel the uninstall process once it is started so i'm going to uninstall this now my solution is uninstalled you can see here it is not here now when i check my data here from this list you can see i don't have that entity available here so i will not have that particular entity that's called the my custom entities which we have created demo entity it will not be available in the target instance so all the data and entity it will be lost on once it is uninstalled from the uh, from the solution list so when i go to the my here entity you can see i don't have that entity over here in the list so that is the risk involved in using the managed solutions and now i think it is clear to you uh, how to use the managed solutions and what are the limitations with that and thank you for watching this video guys